y'all. It's Stream from Where the Yoko's Grown. As you can see, I am standing inside of the house, and that's because I had a special request to do more of an in-depth tour of the Witch's Apothecary that is behind me. So in today's video, that is what we're going to do. We're going to go over everything that is on there and all the things that I made. I'm a heavy crafter, so there's a lot of stuff, most of the stuff on there I have made. And if you stay tuned all the way to the end, you'll get to see how beautiful it looks when it's lit up at night. So if you are returning, I am so glad to see you again. And if you are new, please consider subscribing so you can see more videos like this and also give us a like and a thumbs up helps our channel to continue to grow let's get this tour going okay now we're going to talk about the apothecary i'm going to show try to go through it detail by detail and show you all the different things many of the things you see i made um i there's no way i could have afforded all of these things without making them and it has taken time to collect them so let's just start over here on this wall and we'll go through everything so those spiders that you see are from Dollar Tree. They're actually serving dishes. And I got this idea from another YouTuber and I'll try and link her. She's a Dollar Tree craft YouTuber and I'll try and link her down in the description below. And of course the bats you've already seen all over the place. I've had them for several years. Um, those come from Amazon and I'll le link those down in the description. So now we're gonna talk about the x-ray picture and the bug display and you'll have to excuse the little one in the background and also the boo that is here all of these items are from dollar tree um, with the exception of like this little light bulb and some of the stickers i'm a big and the background on the boo i am a big scrapbooker and so i collect this stuff so i have a lot of it i have an entire closet full so this was made by me by items that i already had and then i bought the boo of course from Dollar Tree these signs and the bugs this cost me two dollars total uh, this is just one of those Dollar Tree signs I turned it over spray painted it and allowed me you know to have a display for my bug here spray painted the bug silver and there you have it this frame is also from Dollar Tree the beads stickers I already had and then the x-ray that you see was printed out on vellum just printed it out right on my computer found the images off of the internet you're not selling it so you can print them you know of course they're in a display but i didn't sell them so i was able you know to make that little picture out of that so we're going to move on this is the mermaid skeleton that is currently at dollar tree this year but it was there last year kind of minimally now of course she did not look like this i took some brown brownish red paint kind of went over it first and then brushed it off and then went back over it with some black and that gave it more of an aged kind of look that's to it the base is from dollar tree the total cost for this was two dollars um these plates i got off of amazon about six years ago i'll try and find them but i can't guarantee that i will be able to find them and link them down in the description pumpkins are from the dollar spot at target the buzzard skeleton is from dollar tree the last year paid five dollars for it all of the bottles and the skeletons that are in this display are from dollar tree and i've collected them over the years you can get these bigger ones and these smaller ones um i think there's like 10 and a thing they're always over in the crafters section you can get those um you know you can get the bottles and do whatever you want with them from there these were new this year they have the little labels on them those were new this year i got those this year and then the antique thing that you see the antique it's a coca-cola old coca-cola bo bottle coca-cola holder i got that at one of those roadside antique shops that you think you only see online or on tv and it was one of those and we stopped and i got several things a couple of them are on this display okay so the faces in the back I used clay from Dollar Tree. Both of those little frames are from Dollar Tree. And then the molds, because like I said, I'm a heavy crafter and, and scrapbooker, I already had the molds. And so I made those skeleton, big skeleton, Dollar Tree. Lizard, Dollar Tree. These I got at Ross this year. Was it Ross? I believe it was Ross. 
got those at Ross and this is one of my thrift store finds. I got the tray, the sugar, the creamer, and the teapot for 30 bucks at a thrift store. Um, the big potion bottles that you see in the back, those were made by me. Another one of the vellum printouts, same thing. I think that frame, though, was from the dollar spot at Michael's. So there are wood frames that you get and you paint. And, of course, the crystals and these old medicine bottles. came. The medicine bottles came from the same antique shop that I got this Coca-Cola. Crystals I have. The spoon was given to me by a friend years ago during a ritual that she did. And then this was made by me. This little frog skeleton was at Dollar Tree last year. And I made this little jar. The jar is from Dollar Tree as well. Stickers I already had, so I used those. This is one of my, um, if you guys have ever been to Universal, there is a chocolate factory restaurant that's on the outside in kind of like their downtown Universal area that before you go into Universal that you, anybody is open to the public. And it is heavily, heavily steampunk themed. And I've got several things on this display that I'll show you um, here. Well, this is just one of them. But this is the octopus. And of course, this ties it into my love of steampunk water and into the table behind me. Tear tray. This is from that anti. I don't know if you guys can see that moth in there. But that is a shortbread cookie mold that I got from the same antique shop where I got the medicine bottles and the coca-cola display crystals are mine medicine bottle of course from the same shop this is from my husband and I's wedding many years ago this little skeleton came from Dollar Tree the rat is from Dollar Tree the skulls back there are from Dollar Tree this I got off Amazon the spider is from skeleton spider is from Dollar Tree and then these lab what are they called lab vases or i don't know what you call them i got those at michael's years ago and then here's another one of the bug displays this one was painted gold though the palm tree sign is from dollar tree this year just like the boo sign i got this eek sign it's been two years ago i think i've done these and the eyeballs were from dollar tree but everything else i already owned so i did that one grasshopper display another vellum picture more spiders up there on the wall so we're gonna move through here another one of those um, plates that are down below those come in a four pack and then of course the frog is from home depot that hand that you see back there is from the 99 cent store. The specimen jar, I made that two years ago, I think. All of it is Dollar Tree, except for the jar that was free. That's a, was a spaghetti sauce jar. And then this is from several years ago. I've had this a long time. I got that at a thrift store. Same thing, specimen jars are all made from items from Dollar Tree. And then there's a big spider back in there. And then if you look, I don't know if you can see inside of that crystal ball, or it's a fake crystal ball. That's a snow globe that is part of Dollar Tree's Christmas. But I printed out the vellum and I've got one right there, which is a spider. And then the one inside of here, I don't know if it'll focus in, is a skeleton. Then of course the trays are part of a thrift store find that I got. Made this specimen, or I should say potion bottle, the ground powder. I made the one in the back made this display. These are all stuff from Dollar Tree, except for this arsenic. This came from Michael's. If you guys are into scrapbooking and, oh gosh, what is his name? I can't think of his name right now. If I think of it, I'll put it up on the screen for you, but he usually does Christmas and Halloween really, really big, but he's also known for all of his steampunk stuff in scrapbooking, and he's one of the, one of the top scrapbooker creators out there. This is from his collection. The books are just old books that I already had. The Rat, of course, is from Dollar Tree, and then here is another one of those. This is the old Doctor's Mask. That came from that same restaurant over at Universal. So let me get up on the ladder and show you the top. 
Okay. The Raven that's right there I got in a package from Amazon. I'll link that down in the description. The Owl Skeleton is new this year for me. That is from Dollar Tree. It was $5. This little globe, crystal ball kind of thing. This little crystal ball globe came from Ross years ago as well. Uh, curse spells and potions uh, stackable. It's just a like a display. I got that at Ross two years ago. Radis, of course, from <laughs> from Dollar Tree. <laughs> pumpkin is from the pumpkin patch, and of course, that's more of those candles. And then the skeletons that are in this display, those are all from Dollar Tree, as well as the beaker that those are in. Okay, there's another boo back there that I did. And again, this beaker right here, and I've got another one below, but it was part of the tear tray. You can't really see it. These they actually had at Dollar Tree last year. They did not bring them back this year, and I'm not sure why, but they had them at Dollar Tree. So we have a potion bottle here. Potion bottle. Potion bottle. And potion bottle. All four of them I made. All four of those bottles came from a thrift store that I bought them for 50 cents each. Um, I printed out these labels. This one right here. And I printed out this one. And this was part of it. And I just cut them out on cardstock. Then I took the bottles and I spray painted them black. And then I went over them once I did hot glue and kind of outlined all of this stuff. That's hot glue. That's all that is. Same thing with what looks like wax strip up there is hot glue. Once I did that, I went over it in gold paint. And then you can see up here, that one really looks like wax. And then this one's trimmed out as well. Another one of those boxes, Tim Holtz. I knew I'd remember his name eventually, Tim Holtz. That's just part of his collection from at least four years ago, his Halloween collection. Another one of those plates, another Witch's Brew potion bottle in the back that I made with everything from Dollar Tree, with the exception of the sticker. I got that, I wanna say at Michael's years ago. I gotta get off the ladder and come down. Oh, wait, little jar display. I already had this, but everything that's in it with the exception of the skeleton body in the back, all comes from Dollar Tree. The skeleton body in the back came in a package that I got at Michael's two years ago. Okay, we're here to the final potion bottle. Again, these jars are from Dollar Tree. The, you know, these little, what is this? Fish netting is from Dollar Tree. The rice was from Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I want to show you, I'm going to try and zoom in on it. It's an old time scale. It's even the top is hand pound to make the actual scale. I'm not sure it's age, but I got it at that same roadside and I'll show you another piece that I got too. I got it at that same roadside antique store. And then up on top are hands and a skeleton that again, Dollar Tree. Most of this stuff is made from Dollar Tree. Let me show you that other piece. Okay, so here it is. This is another piece that I got at that, that side antique road. I have no idea what it is, but it says Central Scientific Company. And it's from property of 1791 Midwestern University. No idea what it is, but I thought it was really cool and I bought it.